How are we doing, people? How are we doing, Phil Kent here? And this is my 100 day blitz. And we're on live, Facebook Live video. Day 36, can you believe it? Day 36 a month. Unbelievable. It's going fast just after 1 o'clock here in the UK. So just give it a minute. Let's see if anyone jumps on. If you are jumping on, just jump in and say hello. Let me know where you're from. Drop a comment in below. Be nice to hear from you. Hey Jeremy. Hey Mark. Jump in and say hello. We're going to do give one minute and then I'm going to crack on about today's little subject. For those who don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing a 100 day blitz. Started it beginning of the month and this is day 36. I'll pick a little subject each day to talk about, see if we get any comments, see if we get any questions or whatever. Go for a few minutes and then uh, then we'll get going with it. I hope you're okay, I hope you had a good weekend. Drop in and say hello, throw some comments in down below. I'm switching screens at the moment. And what I want to cover today, I want to cover the little subject of uh, creating team duplication. It often comes up, it's a... It's a big reason why many um, struggle online. There are a few people I know who manage to get people on board and they always struggle with team duplication. It's a, it's a big problem, you know, it does happen a lot. Um, getting the people on is one thing, but getting others to do the same is, is often a common process. So, well, I did, I did a post on it yesterday and I normally try and cover the next day's live with a, I normally try and go over a, a a post that I did the day before. Okay, so there's a few methods to it because you can have all the tools, you can have all the training, you can have everything in place for what you're doing. But believe it or not, what people need, what people need is a sense of direction, you know, because most people who come online are quite lazy, believe it or not. You know, they want things done for them, they want handheld. But more importantly, you know they they need a sense of direction and that's that's the big one that's the big key so getting people on board is is hard enough as it is keeping them is another thing but if you if you're unable to um show them methods to create team duplication that is going to keep your people on board there's no there's no doubt about it if they're, if they're managing to get people on board and keep them on board by following methods that you're doing then that is the difference between people staying with you for longer term as well because it is the problem and we all know that you can get people on board they can stay for a week or two and they'll drop out they go where some come somewhere else so there's methods that i have generally used over the last sort of say two or three years or more that i picked up myself as so if you people are joining us drop in a say hello got any comments or questions just shoot them over and i'll, I'll do what i can so I've got a sort of list of three or four things that I do to try and encourage duplication. Does it work every time? Of course it does, not every single time. But if you can get it to work more of the time than not, then, then you're onto a winner. Okay, so first thing, always lead by example. Sounds daft, sounds crazy, sounds like an old cliche, but guys, you've got to do, you've got to lead by example. So if you're saying to people, well, you've got to do your marketing, you've got to make YouTube videos, you've got to make a Facebook Live video, I've seen it so many times. If you're banging out all these, you know, things that they should be doing, and then you're not doing them yourself, you know, it's going to fall flat. It's, it really is as simple as that, you know, and that happens so many times where people will expect their team or people that are joining them to do things that they're not doing them themselves. And, you know, it, it's, it's just logical, guys, you know, really, realistically. So if you can show them that you're doing it, so if you're going out and making, say, one or two YouTube videos a day, you're posting regularly on Facebook, you may be putting a couple of ads in, say, Craigslist or Backpage or whatever, you've joined at the X level, it doesn't have to be maxing out a maxing out a program every single time but maybe you've just gone up to the second level but you're doing these daily more importantly you're doing these daily marketing activities and you're producing leads because of that and you can show your team that you're doing so maybe you're buying some paid traffic it doesn't have to be you know five hundred dollars worth of paid traffic every week you can you can buy a hundred clicks solo and spend 
35 bucks you know everyone's sort of got that they can find you know so if you're doing these things on a regular basis and then you're saying to them, hey guys look these leads are coming in i'm getting people coming through the door and you're leading by example they're going to be more inclined then to listen to what you're doing to listen to what you're saying and say you know what yeah this, this guy's producing leads this is how he's doing it let's go and do the same and you can create a certain amount of free leads by doing these things on a regular basis that's all you need my two my number should i say my number one lead source over the years barring paid traffic my number one lead source has always been youtube always been youtube you know there's nothing comes anywhere near it on a free traffic method you know i said that's going on free i mean a lot of people get a lot of leads off of facebook and I know some people do very well from Facebook. I do get leads of Facebook as well, but nothing like what I get off YouTube. It is, it's, it's a different ball game, you know. So they are much, much better, and it, it's so easy to do. You, know, you make out, make a YouTube video. It's there for a long time. So that's the first thing to do. always lead by example. Okay. Um, secondly, what I'd like to do is, uh, if you once you get a few together, um, set them little team challenges. You know, it seems, Darby, you can get people together in a Facebook group or if you've got a few members in your team, and even if you've just got half a dozen people on, set them a team challenge. Ideally, something like a 30-day challenge. Yeah, uh, I mentioned this yesterday in yesterday's live. If you can get these few team members underneath you taking part in a 30-day challenge where, you know, they've got to do these daily tasks and the easy way to do it is just to list them. Say, list them, say, half a dozen tasks. Say, right, during this 30-day challenge, you've got to do one YouTube video, you've got to do one Facebook Live, you've got to post free ads on Craigslist, you've got to put a stick a couple on back page, you've got to post an ad in Traffic Exchange, you may run an ad on FutureNet or whatever, you know, and just give them these sort of tasks to do and say to them that they've got to do these. You know, just make it sort of fun challenge. So you're all sort of competing against each other. You know, make it a little like 30-day challenge and encourage them to share the results, especially if you're inside of a Facebook group or whatever. Share the results daily, and then you'll find that the momentum and the sort of motivation just kicks in sort of on autopilot. You know, because then they've got that sense of direction. You're doing it with them. You're getting everybody to post their results. You're getting everybody to share the results as well. People will then be sort of competing against each other because everybody likes to win. They want to get more leads. So that person's then going to go out and do more YouTube videos. They'll do more Craigslist ads. They'll do more whatever because they want to beat the other person. And next thing you know, you've got team duplication coming out of your ears because that is what happens. You create a little bit of a competition, a little bit of excitement on the rest of it, and these things work. Hi, Sue, how are you doing? You know, so that's another, that's the second one. Do, do these team challenges. Um, thirdly, this is something that doesn't happen enough either, you know, is get them started properly. I and mean, this, this sounds like you're talking to a five-year-old sometimes, you know. So many people become just a number. To so many sponsors. I touched on this the other day and I got quite a good response of it. You know, people get them on board and they don't see them for dust, you know. But a lot of the time also, you've got to bear in mind that many, many people that come online and join programs, etc., are new and they don't really know what to do, you know. And especially with a new program, they don't really know what to do. So just have a very, very simple, basic, easy to follow, clearly laid out, getting started guide. And, you know, you have to make it idiot proof. That's what I always say. Make it idiot proof because there are some really strange people that come online that make things very, very difficult for some strange reason. I don't know what it is. They come online, they seem to enter a different time zone where they can't do anything. You know, it's just, it's just the way, way people are. So you really have to say, like, first of all, go to here. Then you go to here. Yeah, but make it a clear getting started guide. Lay them out and say, this, make sure you've got this in place. Make sure you've got that in place. If you can do it by video, great. If you can do it in a files tab inside the Facebook group that you're a part of, great, even better still. But that's what you need to do. Make sure people have got a, you know, a nice, clear, getting started guide. And then just say, you know, always include that sort of follow-up email to say, you know, I'm here if you need me. Shoot me a question. Shoot me any questions via Facebook. Shoot me an email if needed. And sometimes that's all it takes, just that little bit of contact, a little bit of reassurance to know people that you're going to be there. Um, the last one I want to touch on is what I always bang on about as well team recognition yeah you want to help encourage team duplication make sure you've got team recognition it doesn't just have to be the guy that's at the top of the leaderboard it doesn't have to be the guy that's bringing in people 
left, right and centre or whatever, if you've got a big hitter on your team, you know, if somebody go out and generates their first lead and they're, they're happy about it, then celebrate that sex in that Facebook group. Yeah, make a point of encouraging the others to, you know, send them appraisals and well done and all the rest of it. You know, if somebody gets their first person on board, celebrate that success. Make a point of making a post about it in the group and all the rest of it. These little things, by recognising any sort of team success, doesn't matter how small it is, you know, will go a long way to building strong team members and encouraging that team duplication. It's all these little things, and once you get used to doing them, you do them on a regular basis. So if you become part of a team that's got things like that in place, then start implementing them yourself once you start getting people on board. Because if you're doing all these little things and you've, you've got yourself a daily consistent action plan, then you're going to get people on board and then you just repeat the process that I've sort of gone over and lead those people your way as well. And you're going to find that people that will then start producing leads, producing results, keeping people on board and then that duplication will come. Will people drop out? Of course they will. That's the nature of the industry. People are going to come in, stay for two or three weeks and go. But when you're sort of going through these numbers and you, you, you'll find the workers, you'll find the ones that are keen, you know, you'll you find the ones that want to stay with you, you'll find the ones that want to put in the effort and they're the sort of nuggets that you need to be sort of holding on to and then you can start spending a little bit more time on. But it's, cause especially when you set these little sort of 30-day challenges and things like that, what you're going to find is that the, the better ones stand out. They're the ones that start putting in the work, start sharing the daily results and they're the ones that you want to start over the sort of coming time, spending a little bit more time with, yeah, because they're the ones that are going to reward you more in the long term. So, oh, you know, don't waste your time with the people that don't want to work. You know, it's 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 dead money. Your time is precious. Always remember that. You know, put the time in with the ones that want to put the effort in. And when you put these little challenges in and set to be right, go and do this, do a thirty day challenge, or set them some little tasks to do. You make them accountable for their own actions. You're going to uncover the gems that come through because you're going to want find the ones that are going out and doing it. They are going out and making a YouTube video. They are going out and doing a Facebook Live. You know, they're doing things like that, and then they, they are happily coming back in and sharing the results and sharing the excitement. These are the ones that you want to nurture and work with because these are the ones that are going to grow into better people for sure because they've got all the early early signs there. Because you're obviously when you, when you do do these things, you'll get some that just don't take part don't do anything they don't want to do anything and they will just filter off anyway I mean, anyway, that's the sort of just sort of three or four sort of steps that i think should help if you if you apply them it's like anything it's okay having the resources it's okay having the information but you've got to put the information in you've got to take action on it and that's the big one you've got to take action in what you're doing and do it on a daily consistent basis and then you're going to then you will create that momentum in your team. You'll create that duplication. People will stay with you longer. And you know, if something happens when a program does go down, they're more likely going to stay with you for the longer term and hopefully come with you into something else or at least listen to you because you'll have built up a nice no like and trust factor and they'll stay with you and maybe follow you into other programs as well. So I hope those things help for you guys. Also, this is my 100 day blitz I'm on day day 36 I think it is now so it's, it's getting towards the halfway stage going pretty well doing a Facebook live every day doing at least one YouTube video every day doing um, working on my Instagram coming up as well so lots of uh, lots of things going on and uh, tracking all my results as well if you check out my timeline I'm also post it, always posting me updates so you can see how well it's all going and uh, I've got some good feedback from it as well so Anyway, I think that covers everything. I've had a few people jumping on and off. Uh, if anybody wants to know anything, shoot me out on Facebook. I'm always on there, especially in the afternoons. It's sort of just after 1.15 here in the UK. So this is generally the sort of time of day I do my Facebook Lives now, sort of around about 1-ish, half 1, 2, something like that, on the UK time. It doesn't suit everybody's, but I know a lot of people catch you back later on. So anyway, I hope those nuggets for you help. I hope you get some people on board and create that tomb duplication because it is a problem. It is a difficult one. People do struggle with it. Um, but if you apply those little things that I've said to you, then hopefully they may help you make a big difference for your team members. So cheers for watching. Cheers for tuning in. My name's Phil Kent. I'll be back tomorrow with day 37. Whatever you're doing, have a great day.
and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys.